That's right, you read the title correctly. It has been one full year since the original release of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, a game that changed my channel completely. So I decided to celebrate the game being out for that long. I was going to take a few of the decks that I made over the course of this first year and put it into one video. So I figured the best way to celebrate one year of Master Duel being out is to go through each and every one of the decks that I've made a video on from the time when this game released and do it all in one video. Will we be able to make it out of bronze using a random assortment of decks over the year? Uh, I hope so. Oh, a fellow that enjoys the nice simple things in life. First of all, I'm winning this game. Oh my God. This game is actually over. And I got dangerous machine type six for the fun factor and lucky putt. This duel's over. This duel is so over. You're done. You're actually just done. First of all, I think I might just gambler of legend, get him to discard a card. Am I really that guy? Am I really so lucky that I'll just naturally get two heads? Watch this. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to second coin toss that second coin toss. Easy peasy. Two heads coming up. And that's what I'm talking about. Don't ever in your life say that you're better than me. Give me that fusion substitute. This guy is playing some random deck. And then also I'll activate the spell card. Dangerous machine type six during each of my standby phases. I'll roll a six sided dice for each dice rolled. I'll get a different effect. Uh, also, if you couldn't tell by now and didn't already know, my luck deck is basically a deck that's only built around luck. There is no cards in this deck that don't rely on raw luck, except skill drain. I run skill drain just so people have to engage with some of the fun mechanics. But you got to be a real gambler of legend to pull this deck off. You got to love the thrill of the hunt. You got to love the, the coin toss, the dice roll. You got to love it all. And I don't I don't know if this guy uh, wants to play against us. Wait a minute, he's back with Cyber Dark Claw. He's good. He knows everything about sitting two face down. Battle phase. Here's the thing, bud. You're actually giving me my trap card, Lucky Punch. If you don't know what Lucky Punch does, once per turn, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, I can toss three coins. If all are three heads, I get to draw three cards. If it's three tails, destroy this card and take 6,000 damage. So basically, there's no way this goes wrong for me. Give me my three heads. I want my three heads right now. Coming up. Oh, but come on. That could have been amazing. Just give it to me again. Just give it to me again. I it's worth the risk. Give it to me again. Oh, 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 okay, just take my monster. But if you end your turn now, I want you to know that you're going to face the wrath of Dangerous Machine Type 6. And now, Dangerous Machine Type 6 will activate after my draw phase. I believe it's time to let the good times roll. Machine Type 6, spit out a dice. After, um, <clears throat> he's, after he's done loading. There he goes. Here he goes. Five. What's five do? Destroy one monster. Oh! You messed with the wrong machine. And now I'll set one card face down and end my turn. It wasn't a very exciting turn, but it was a very important turn to me. Now let me roll a six and win this duel. That's all I want to do. Playing a little defensive, are we? Okay, I can respect it. I can respect it. Sadly, I won't be aiming for your life points in that way, but it is what it is. With the turn change, I draw once more for Sasuke Samurai number four. I didn't I didn't know I was going to draw. I didn't know I was going to rhyme until I drew him. That was not... I, it's actually embarrassing. I feel like people are going to think I meant... I didn't mean to rhyme. Dangerous Machine Type 6, give us a number. Give me a three. I really want to draw another card. I really want the hand advantage. Give me a three. Wabaku? Bro is just playing, playing. Five. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess that wasn't really battle. What? Cyber Pharos? Well, bro did not want to lose his monster. Anyway, it's time to play some Dice Jar. A competitive dice game where if I roll... Oh, three. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, take 1,500 damage then. Let's go. Sasuke Samurai, we out here. Uh, but I can't do any battle damage, but I'm just going to attack just to let him know I, I could have if he didn't activate Wobble. There, now he knows I'm serious. Every now and then, I like to show my commitment. Cyber Dragon. <laughs> Ain't no way he thinks he's not going to get lucky punched right now. You're really risking me drawing three. Oh, I didn't activate it. Damn it. Well, that was my bad. Another turn is coming my way. And now we've got Misjudge and also Dangerous Machine Type 6. Please give us another five. Spit out one more five. Actually, give me a two. I kind of want a two right now. Give me a two. I'm kind of feeling a nice two. I want him to discard a card. Six. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he didn't really feel like sticking around that time. Uh, I think here the safest option is just to go with Misjudge. Gives us a negate on the board. Also just gives us, uh, you know, the raw 1800 beat stick that we need. Sasuke Samurai doesn't even have to go to work today. He gets to just chill. Are we really going to get a win with the luck deck right away? Did we just luck into the perfect opponent? I still don't know what he's playing. Some sort of interesting cyber. He's definitely playing cyber dragons, but I'm not really sure where the build is going, you know? I'm just not really sure what the, the vision is. Cyber repair plan. Uh oh. Actually, wait a second. Wait a second. Misjudge, please show this man the door. If you didn't know, with Misjudge, every time an effect activates, if I get two heads, I negate it. Oh, second coin toss. If I get two heads, I negate that effect. 
Damn. Oh, all right. You can have that. You can go ahead and have that one. Misjudge didn't, didn't find any reason to give that one a no. That only works on the first effect of the turn, though. He's got another cyber dragon in his hands. We could be looking at a big... By God, Cyber Rev System. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. That's pretty, I mean, that's pretty good. He gets one out of his graveyard that can't be destroyed by card effects, but it only has 1500 attack anyway. He's playing polarization. He just did it to get it out of the graveyard. By God, what am I about to see on the field? Did he just fuse his entire hand? Uh-oh. Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't destroy Lucky Punch. Bro, don't do... If you destroy Lucky Punch, that is so childish, bro. Don't do that. Dude, don't do that. You don't even want to do that. Really, you don't want to do that. You want to do it through attack damage. You're a Cyber Dragon player. You love doing attack damage. And, and I, I think that's actually, like, very cool of you, man. Like, I think that's so cool. See, second coin toss, I'm fine. Take, sec take second coin toss. I don't need that. And, and you know what? I think second coin toss is kind of cheating anyway. So, no, 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 please, 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 man, don't do it, please, take it back, please, you gotta take it back, man, please, wait, is he, what's that, bro, do you, do you even understand, there's no point in other effects, if you kill Lucky Punch, the duel's over, you can't do that, if this face of card on the field's destroyed, I lose 6,000 life points, man, it's not a good card, man, you gotta, you gotta take it back. Well, Sangan's doing his dance of defeat once again. What if I just use a Jinzo? You know, we haven't used Jinzo in so long. What if I just go back to the old Jin Wait, what? Uh oh, I broke down cards in here. <laughs> Which card did I break down? Help of it. Wait, am I going? Wait, what? <laughs> am I going up against my the luck deck? Please give me tails. Oh, never mind. What's? Oh, he's 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 dying. Well, goodbye. Yeah, I'll take that. Give me that. <gasps> My prismatic Jinzo. Oh, what a beauty of a card I've got here. Look at this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was very lucky with this Jinzo deck. Yep. Okay, okay. My opponent sets one face down. I can't lie. It's, it's a play. It's a play for sure. All right. Well, I have no idea what he's going for here, but that is absolutely fine as I'm going to draw Jinzo Jector. It's actually been so long. I forgot what Jinzo Jector even does. Uh, he doesn't do too much, but I can use Allure of Darkness for the sweet draw. Look at that. Damn, I'm just getting card draw out here allure of darkness give me that bro is just trying to end it he's trying to end it he's lucky i didn't have a jinzo out there he wouldn't be able to <gasps> you just lost the duel and he wanted to do that but now you just really lost the duel with his face up trap card i'm able to special summon jinzo the machine menace in attack mode and then normally i would do a lot more but let's be honest this guy wants to die so let's just end it And now we're at a B5 and into B4. I'm gonna be honest though, I don't think that counts for Jinzo's duel. We're doing another one. Not a bad hand. I'm gonna be honest, not a terrible hand. We do have Psychic Mega Cyber, which is one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. It's just so cool the way this card works. We're able to special summon if they have more spells and traps than we do. And when we attack and we control Jinzo, we can trigger that card and make them go into the spell and trap zone as a trap card. It's really, really good. That being said, will our opponent actually play the game? I do have Max C. I kind of hope they start back. <gasps> Okay, 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 but hold on. Because if you do any other moves for this entire turn, I'm get, I'm going plus. So go ahead, do stuff. Go crazy. Go actually crazy, go stupid. Okay, he added Elemental Hero Honest Neos, okay. Here comes my special summon. Tell him to bring me my money. I want my draw. Give me my draw. I want one card. Oh, brother, I think I lost the game. <laughs> hey, what card did I just draw? Oh, Jinzo. Oh, I was not hoping to draw another Jinzo. I'm gonna be very honest. I was hoping not to draw another Jinzo, but here I go, drawing another Jinzo again. What I need right now is to draw instant fu- What? I didn't even do none. Psychic Bounder's literally just here for a good time. Wait, what? Oh. Mm, do you think you'll fall for this? <laughs> I'm going to offer you a once in a lifetime deal. You can set one trap card. Go ahead, set one trap card from your deck. And if you do, I'm going to special summon Jinzo. But don't even worry about that. Don't literally don't worry about that. Go ahead. I need you to go ahead and set a trap card. He's reading. Oh, brother. He actually reads. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Jinzo hits the field. And I only have like two things. But also, because I also got Fiend Mega Cyber. And then, and then not even just that, but not even just that. Look at this. Hold on. Did he already use his effect? Mm, I'm really trying to decide what I'm trying to do here for real. Because I think I might lock him up. <laughs> do I just lock him up? But does he get another effect? Hold on. Oh, baby. Tell him to bring me my money. Psychic Mega Cyber, lock him up as the continuous trap card that he is. 
Hey, how does it feel knowing your meta card's locked up as a trap card, buddy? Must not feel very good. Jinzo, get him. And now he can't use trap cards. Bro misplayed so hard. Also, that's a lot of face-up trap cards you got there. So I'll also be special summoning Jinzo the Machine Menace in attack mode. Yeah, yeah, you made one crucial misplay. You forgot to read my card. It was optional. It was a fake deal. You should have never taken it. Oh, and also Cyber Energy Shock, if I destroy a trap card, I get to negate the effect of one face-up card on the field. So even if, even if he tries something cute, something cutesy, something funny, I'm negating that. And I'm not going to do it by popping Destiny Hero. He can stay there. What's this? What you got here? Um, pretty good turn. Pretty good turn. Not going to lie. Now, that being said, no. Wait, what is, what is it? The machine did? Oh, no. That, that's just, so listen. <laughs> so listen, I'm going to go ahead. Remember that card I let you set? I'm going to go ahead and destroy that. And it, it, was that a trap card by chance? You wouldn't have happened to set a trap card when I asked you if you'd like to set a trap card. Oh, because now you don't get any funny effects. Nope, you just don't. Get, nope, it doesn't happen. Not gonna happen. You just ran into Jinzo, buddy. You just ran into Jinzo. Oh, look. Oh, oh, and there we go. There we go. He didn't read the Jinzo cards. He's got to pay the price. Jinzo, that's the kind of duel I wanted from him. We're going on to the next deck. So I think this next one is actually a little nostalgic even for me because the first deck I ever made was, was Toons. I wanted to make a Toon deck. And this deck is not very good anyway for me. Uh, but I like the cartoon card. So I'm going to go ahead and play my Toon deck. The original. Okay, I'm going second, and this man has a Solomon Great. Whoa, that was pretty cool. Hey, how come Sangan doesn't do that? I really want Karibo so bad. If I could get that Karibo made, I would be so happy. Toon table of contents. All right, I have a question. I haven't played this deck in a long time. If I use Pot of Extravagance, do I not get to use Toon table of contents? Because this doesn't technically count as drawing cards, right? This would just be adding cards. I'm going to go ahead and say that's exactly how it works, and I'm not going to ask any other question. De Damn! Bro played every card in his hand. All right, turn change, my turn. I draw. Ooh, ooh, you know I love to see Toon Kingdom, baby. You know I love that. You know I love when Toon Kingdom hops in. Anyway, I'll go ahead and activate Pot of Extravagance. Yugi boy, Yugi boy. Give me this, Pot of Extravagance. Six cards, banish face down. Give me two cards. Okay, bad draw. Then I'll activate Toon Table of Contents. This card allows me to add any Toon deck card from my deck to my hand. I'll use it to draw Toon Table of Contents. <gasps> oh, perfect. I'll activate Toon Table of Contents. This card allows me to draw any Toon card from my deck to my hand. I'll grab Toon Table of Contents. I'll then activate Toon Table of Contents. This card allows me to take any Toon card from my deck to my hand. And I'll use it to grab Toon Bookmark. I'll activate Toon Bookmark. This card allows me to add any Toon card from my deck to my hand. I'll use it to grab Comic Hand, the very funny spell card that lets me turn your monsters into cartoon. Then I'll activate Toon Kingdom, banishing three from the top. Up. And then I'll also activate... Hmm. First, I'll special summon Toon Mermaid in face-up attack mode. Then, I'll special summon Toon Harpy Lady and summon her in face-up attack mode, allowing me to destroy a car. I'll do this one. Stamping, destruct... What are you playing? Then I'll activate Toon Page Flip. And you can choose between this one, this one, or this one. Those are the only three I want you picking from. Give me... Hmm. What what tune card are we hoping he gives me? Uh, honestly, I'll take any. I really will take any. I'm not picky. I don't I don't see myself as a picky guy. Ooh, the strongest card in the whole game. I'll take that. I'll take that. The strongest card in my whole deck. Uh, and I don't know what he's running, so I'm just gonna banish the card he has face down. Oh, that seems pretty pretty important. Anyway, I can't attack first turn, so I'll, I'll just end it. Tune. That's a that's a common tune effect. I don't know what's happening. Who is Lucius the Shadow Vassal? I've never seen that card. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what my opponent's playing. Oh, Toon Dark Magician. I think this would be funny. Yeah, sure. Why would I not do it? I'm going to get rid of Toon Mermaid and Toon Harpy Lady to bring out Toon Dark Magician. And I'll activate his effect to special summon another Toon. Or I could just add, I'm just going to add a spell card. That's that's crazy. I'm just going to discard that for Toon Bookmark and recycle. Why would I uh, Why would I not do this? I need more Toon Bookmark protection just in case. There, now we've got two, two Toon Kingdoms and a lot of backup. And I'll just attack. Toon Blackluster Soldier Direct Attack. <gasps> Does he have a response to this? No shot he actually has something. What is this? What? 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 That was the perfect card for this. Huh? But I can't attack directly if they control a tune. That was actually the perfect card for this. What? What? I'm actually stunned. Bro is the Pharaoh. Bro is Yugi in the flesh. Oh, brother. I fell right into his trap. I fell right into his devious scheme. Oh, Lester Dragon. What? <laughs> What is he playing? How did he get around my tune card perfectly? I have to save Comic Hand because I'm going to need to be able to grab my tune back. Well, actually, I'm just going to special summon a tune, I think. I'm going to ditch Blackluster Soldier to special summon Blackluster Soldier. Okay, that was fine. 
That was fine. We had the out. It was never a question. I just got really scared because honestly, I was impressed. That was a great card to go up against Toon Dex. That was actually insane. But still, we're going to get out of there with a big win. And now we're in bronze tier. Oh, wait, no, we're in bronze tiers too. I thought we were going to make it out of silver. Well, I know exactly what deck we're using next. It's time to summon Gandora. Whoa, a little Ghost Strike avatar. Do I go second or first here? I'm going first. I'll go first because I think maybe we have a better chance of setting up stuff for Gandora. That way we go third turn. We get the instant third turn KO. Then we, you know, we call it a day there. Okay, okay. This is almost exactly what I was hoping for. This is almost exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I thought I was going first. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use Gizmek. Did I not pick going first? Did I just horribly mess that up? I, I have no idea. I think I might have just horribly messed that up. He's playing Time Thieves. All right, so he plays that card and sets two face down. Nothing too crazy for me. We also do get a Lure of Darkness. That is huge. First things first, though, I am going to... I'm going to Foolish Burial something here. This might seem a little bit crazy, but I'm going to go ahead and Foolish Burial Necroface. Is that crazy? Maybe. But then I'm going to Lure of Darkness. This is huge for me. Lure of Darkness. Give me two. We get Gandora. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy that we just got Gandora. I'm going to go ahead and banish Eater of Millions, though. I want Eater of Millions out of here. Then I'm going to... Ooh. This is all very, very different. This is very different. I'm going to summon Eater of Millions by getting rid of every single card in my extra deck. Every single card needs to leave my extra deck. Every single card, get out of here. I want to play Eater of Millions. Boom. Then I'm going to activate a bit of soul release. This is this is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to banish my three cards. Once I banish Necroface, his effect will trigger... Causing us both to banish top cards from our deck. Now, this is bad because I'm losing Gandoras at a crazy, crazy rate. But it doesn't matter. We attack. Eater of Millions, go ahead. Eat him. Eat him up, Eater. Boom, he's gone. Boom. Now we give Mecha direct attack. We might not even see Gandora. Rare Gandora duel where we don't even see Gandora the Dragon of Destruction. Luna Light? What? Who did I hit? What are we playing? Oh, this is just a straight Luna Light deck. What? Oh, brother, we're going to lose. Oh, brother, we're going to lose. Okay, setting up his old pendulum scales here. I think Gandora might actually be the best way out of this. If we're able to keep enough monsters on the field to make Gandora realistic, we might need his effect to get past all of these cards. It's got to be that or Grandma. Utopia? Does he have double or nothing? Who is he going for? That's a that's a big mistake. I, I <laughs> That's a big mistake. He doesn't know what Eater of Mill... <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Was that on purpose? <laughs> you can't attack Eater of Millions. Wait, is this exact lethal? No. Wait, no. Well, I don't have lethal anyway, so go ahead. Take your free 1,000 life points. Oh, <clears throat> well, unfortunately, you're going to be getting 2,000 life points. All of a sudden, this seems like a worse deal for me. Oh, trade in. Okay, I'll trade in Gandora. I thought Gandora was the key, but I'll trade him in. Let me see what I can get here. Another Gandora, huh? I don't like ha I don't like him having those cards in his graveyard. I'm going to get rid of those. All right, get rid of every card in your graveyard, buddy. Bye-bye. Very, very cool. I like that. Oh, what? Oh, all right. Now we just... You know, we just attack. We gave him a lot of life points. That's fine. We didn't have lethal anyway. We just have to hope that... Uh, I don't know, actually. I guess we have to hope he runs into Eater of Millions again. I, I really don't know. I really don't know what we're hoping for. Ooh, brother. We might have made a mistake. He's got Raider's Knight on board. Damn! Bro took everything from Eater of Millions. He left Eater of Millions with nothing. Oh, I banished two of my Grand Majus. Wait, is that three Grand Majus? One. Oh! We don't have any green modules left. We have no green modules left. It's over. It's over. Ow. 3KY. I'm coming right back. I'm coming right back. Don't you forget it. Yeah, you thought you saw the last of old Gizmek. I'm right back. Now, was that a misplay? Probably. Yep, I'm out of Gandoras. It, yep, and yep, it's over. Yep. I have no Gandoras left. All right, I'm going to do something crazy, and maybe this might be my only shot, but I'm going to tribute Eater of Millions and Gizmek to summon Gandor, the Dragon of Destruction. I just only hope I have enough attack points to win the duel. Well, uh, he didn't get destroyed. <laughs> I did not read. Why won't you die? Ha <laughs> ha! I wonder if I could have just attacked with Eater of Millions and won. <laughs> I really don't know. If I, uh, damn it. All right, well, I'm going to my Neo deck. This is by far the best. If we're just talking on win rate, this is the best deck I've ever built on Master Duel just because it's actually capable of keeping up with other competitive decks. Every other deck is mostly just a, a big joke. But this, this deck can actually win in some good situation. Oh, this is a risky hand. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play Neo Space Connector to actually activate his effect. Hopefully this doesn't get negated. Ooh, well, okay. Well, this is equally as bad. Actually, wait. <laughs> 
I'm gonna get me some free life points out of this. Mm, I think it's best to go for it anyway. Quite honestly, I think it's best. Let him have his fun, let him have his fun, but we've gotta get Predaplan out here and we've gotta do one more after this. So he can, he can take his two draws, honestly. Neos Fusion goes to the graveyard. This is gonna let us summon Brave Neos. And again, you always wanna ditch Turtle. You wanna ditch Turtle and you wanna ditch one Neos in your deck. That way you get Brave Hero. You can actually bring him out like this. Now, I wish, I wish we could go ahead and use Favorite Hero, but sadly we can't go to the battle phase on turn one. One, so it's not even worth doing what why did what i'm not sure why he just negated preda plant but i maybe there's something i'm missing small world oh he didn't want me to make him dark <laughs> ash blossom damn bro got me snoozing bro is doing math while playing Yu Gi Oh. this is insane what, wait, he's actually just playing math, math max? I thought he was just gonna be summoning a... I, honestly, I thought he was just going into Axis Code Talker. So this is, this is impressive to me. That sure is a lot of monsters I'm looking at. Oh, Splash Mage moment. Please. Oh, here we go. Well, I was, uh, there's Axis Code Talker. Now again, even with this, it's not really too bad for us because he can't go to the battle phase. He can, he just won't get to do anything there. He's gonna destroy one card I control. Hopefully he targets Brave Neos. Targeting Brave Neos would be the misplay here. Then we get Neos Fusion. Neos Fusion rejects that. That's the misplay. We were hoping he would do that. Okay, now my opponent seems stunned. He's not, he, he, I, I think he's reading Neos Fusion. Bro picked up the card and said, no, wait, hold on. Let me read that. <laughs> Bro acted like we're playing in real life. Okay. Oh, no. He saw a turtle. He saw a turtle. Oh, wait, what? Well, I didn't, I've never seen that animation. Wait, he didn't see turtle? Okay, he really wanted Neos gone, but I don't think that was what was standing in his way. Okay, now he's going after Anaconda, which is okay. I mean, I, I wanted Anaconda alive. That was the big out, but I don't know. I think I would have just banished turtle if I was him. Turtle just ends his whole battle phase. Does he have an answer to that? Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm beat here. I think I'm very much beat here. Actually, first I'll go to the battle phase, then I'll go to main phase two, but before that I'll go ahead and play evenly matched. I forgot I teched this card in. Now banish cards until you control the same amount as us. Oh, okay, well, never mind. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, Geki then? Damn! Ah, uh, but don't synchro. Oh, brother. Oh, brother! I can't get, bro as an out to everything I've ever said. Damn! He even got the only monster I was gonna play for defense. Uh, you got it. I mean, at that point, you got it. At that point, I, I you know, I just, at that point, I just couldn't do, compete. Damn, bro's taking his victory lap too. He won't even just finish me. He's got to take his victory lap. Every card in his deck had value. Every card countered every card. That was crazy. Bro tapped into every every dueling method he could possibly envision. He tapped into it all. He's good. I gotta give it up. He's good. He knows everything about countering all of my cards. He can read too. Who it what? Who is this evil guy? Who is Lingaribo? <laughs> I've never seen this one. What is this? Bro is mean looking. Well, I mean, that's all I got. That's all I got for real. Oh, good duel. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. We've gone through most of the decks we have and uh, we couldn't make it out of bronze, but I believe <clears throat> that we could have if I had a little more time, but I don't have any time. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, which is a walk down memory lane. It was a lot of fun. With that said, thank you once again to Master Duel for sponsoring this video and for making a really fun game. I really do love Yu-Gi-Oh! So I couldn't have asked for a better way to play it at home, but that's gonna be all for me. If you enjoyed the video, hit a like button and check out some of the other videos that should be on your screen right now. I have been Dada Doi and I will see you in the next one.